lady with the short hair. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My name is Denise. Denise. Yes. The month and day you were born, September 25th. to disconnect from her grandmother's talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be, I'm trying to hear the dad, but they start collecting in the room as I do more readings because I want to see everybody else that's going to have a reading too. Yeah. And so they get a little distracted. <laughs> this is how he felt. And you may have a different perspective, but it's how he felt. He was referencing you as always having been one of his best friends. So I feel like you're two peas in a pod. Yes. And he's just letting you know he's still your best friend. Okay. He said, you make me proud every day. Every day. He says, even when you think you mess up, he says, you get back up and you try again. Just like him. And he instilled that in you. Just good. I feel like you're a lot like your dad. <laughs> I just did an image of my dad. <laughs> he says you were the daughter and son he always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he says you're such a colorful person. You have so much to give, and you're constantly giving and um, but you're not afraid to speak your mind either. Nope. <laughs> and he, he's so proud that you stand up for the little guy. And so he's talking about you standing up for the little guy. So that's got to be something in your energy or that you do professionally. Just in my energy. I'm a mom of five kids, and I've been around for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you feel as though if you see an injustice, you, you step Absolutely. up. Like you'll have the principal in a headlock if you have to, but you're going to get yes. it done. You're going to get it taken care of. Oh, yeah. I've had bus drivers fired and such. <laughs> <laughs> now we love them more, don't we? <laughs> Your dad seems very sorry that he didn't get to travel and do more with you. Feels like he wanted to take you on a cruise. He wanted to go places with you. You know, that there were places he wanted to go before he died that he didn't make it to. And he, you would have gone with him. Oh, absolutely. Um, almost as if he wanted you to be his travel buddy. Aww. So he's sorry that he missed out on that because he says he honestly didn't get to go everywhere he wanted to. <laughs> but he's okay with that now. He says, you can still go and I'll go with you. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. He says, you were supposed to be a writer. Um, so he's showing you with a journal in your hand, and he's saying, write. It almost feels like you're supposed to be writing the story or your family's story. Wow. Does your family have an interesting story? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> there's lots of pieces to art, but my sister's actually writing. This okay. is my sister. Oh, hi. She's writing okay. the story. Well, well I, he's my stepdad. Yeah. Okay, but you're supposed to collaborate on it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, he's trying to be really clear with you. Okay. Okay. You're an air sign, you gotta absorb it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he feels bad about the time that he died. He feels like he ruined a celebration or it made it harder for somebody that he loved. Did he die around like a wedding or a birthday, something that would have been more celebratory? Well, he died on September 27th, and my birthday is today. Oh, okay. so, so he's sorry about that, though. It sort of tainted your birthday to where this time of year, every year, you're thinking of his death. 
instead of enjoying your birthday. Yeah, and this, he wants today to be a reckoning where you promise him not to do that anymore. Okay. Live for him. Yeah, this so, was the day that he was told that there was nothing else they could do for him. Right, so you understand why he's bringing this yes. up. It's sort of poignant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think dads are pretty funny. Uh, they seem very tunnel vision sometimes. Uh, he wants to make sure you're going out to eat afterwards, like somewhere. Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep! And he's looking at your sister and saying, make sure you get her a piece of cake. <laughs> For sure, um, yeah. Whether she eats it or not. <laughs> That's what he said. And he's going to go too. Oh. Yeah. Um, He's showing a very old, long car. Did he have like an old station wagon? Or, like, continental. A continental. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has it again. <laughs> that seems to be a version of his heaven. <laughs> and so when you take out the pictures of him with that long car, um, oh. that's what he looks like now. <laughs> I love it. He must have felt very regal in it. The, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like a parade car. <laughs> it was fancy. He's telling me that he put some things in his body he probably shouldn't have. <laughs> so he feels like his passing might be a little his fault. So okay. around his passing, um, he does highlight his heart. Did he have heart problems, do you know? He had a tumor in his chest. Oh, OK. Yeah. So. Um, Sure, it's hard to breathe, like there would be issues like that. It's not, he doesn't feel that way anymore. At the same time, he feels like there was something he was doing that contributed to it. Did he smoke? Like, what yes, he not? did, yes. So he's kind of saying like, I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> they do that sometimes. Although I brought a dad through last week for a daughter and I said, your dad's in the smoking section. And she said he was a huge smoker, I said, this is his way of saying it can't kill me now. So when they die, <laughs> when they die sometimes they'll continue smoking because it can't kill them. They enjoy it so much. Oh, he did. He tried to, um, it almost feels like he tried to hide what was wrong with him. Yes. And your dad feels very proud to me where he didn't want people treating him differently. And I feel like he knew he was sick longer than he let you know. And he's sorry about that, but he says some things, you understand the reasons for why he had to do what he had to do. Yeah. And I feel like he needed to make some memories with you that were happy and not blanketed by what was going to happen to him. He just wanted some last good memories with y'all, you know? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, He's trying to give you a money clip, which, I don't, does he have a money clip? That's important. He, he didn't have a money clip, but he always gave you money and told you to keep the change. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But he, yeah. he got a lot of money out of his pocket and he yeah. had a money clip on it, so I thought maybe it was that, but it's, he was trying to give it to you. Um, maybe get a money clip and have his initials engraved on it and just keep it holding your bills together to feel connected to him. It just feels as though you're going to be just like him and you've already started, he says, where you'll just give them money. So with your kids, you're giving them money. <laughs> and maybe more than dad. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so you're a lot like your dad. And he thinks you need the money put because you're going to be handing out a whole lot more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, he's also trying to put ornaments on a tree for him. Do you have your dad's ornaments? Um, well, trains. Okay. Yeah. So put them up for him this year? Yeah. He's, he's hanging ornaments too, so there has to be ornaments that he hangs. Well, well, my Christmas tree is up, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're early. <laughs> okay, so put an ornament on the tree for your dad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. He says he could talk all day. He's like, I'm sorry, guys. Um, 
He loves you. He says, he says the pennies are from heaven. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I have a collection of pennies and I find them every single day and I have them in a tin box. Thank you. I'm going to break my connection and send them with you. Happy birthday. Thank you. If you enjoyed watching the videos of the readings from my Scottsdale event and you want to hear the behind the scenes scoop, Check out my podcast, The Dead Life, on Apple and Spotify, or on my website, alisondubois.com. My husband, Joe, and I share our thoughts on the Scottsdale readings and the spirits I brought through. If you're searching for answers about the afterlife, listen to a new episode of The Dead Life every Tuesday to hear people from different walks of life and myself talk about life after death and spirituality. I've had guests ranging from an astrologer to a mortician to celebrities, and in November, I sit down with a priest who also happens to be a medium. Join me on my podcast, The Dead Life, and catch up on past episodes.